Alright guys, I'm gonna be doing some PvP around now because like I just said it around now. That's like like okay. Anyways, I'm gonna be doing some PvP because if any of you guys like watched any of my videos from earlier, I had mentioned that I quite like Tubercon, and even though I don't think he's OP or game changing, I want him at a decently high rank. So I've done a pretty good job of that. I have like 2,000 cells of him right now. And I'd like to get more. So, biggest guy I want killed here. Right there. Oh, shizzle. My screen is glitching. Alright, so it's the hardest to take out um that guy, Chair Cupid, in one shot. So, yeah. Just want to wean him a little bit so that I can instant kill. Then I believe him and Uriel should revive. Alright, let's see. I'm a lover. That was not an extra turn move, thankfully. Boom. I have a 100% shield that bypasses, um... Oof. So I reflect, I reflect, no, I reflect. And... I'm gonna... Immunity to everything. Look, look at him. He's immune to damage right now, unless you're light, which they're both light. But hey. Boom. AoE kill Cherub. And now it's quite elementary. It's easy. Look, my king has 2 million health. How insane. So, Euro Essence and Death. So, I don't, the amount of time left to get cells for Tuber, not that much. I should have had him with the amount of cells I have right now, because it's like almost 2,000. Maybe, hopefully, like 132 or something. Because I'd prefer him be a fast player. I really like his capabilities as a cooldown resetting monster. I literally used Jack Pack earlier today in a, like, one-off situation, and he, his cooldown resetting is just super nice. It's the reason people really like Archdruid Sigil. And if you really want, you could run him with Archdruid Sigil, so... Yeah, no, this is a loss. I, I rely on extra turn buffing and then Cherub instant killing, and anticipation from, like, old, wrinkly... Dennis? No, thank you. Next, next. So yeah, I feel like I'm kind of on a binge of videos right now, because I just realized, like, videos I could be making, and now I'm making all 15. Now luckily, a light AoE or a fire AoE should kill them all. Um, look, I have Dark Protection at rank 3, so I'm not even worried about her. Old Lord Nocturne over there is going to do. I actually had a nightmare with Lord and Botus. If any of you guys ever want to hear about that, it'd be an interesting tale to tell about on the chat. Although, I think my my nightmare was trying to tell me some things, because like, I was dealing with stuff at the moment. But it's pretty cool that, that it's Lord and Botus. Although, in the in the nightmare, I'm not going to say too much in case I do end up to make a video off it. But he was massive, and he was scary. Man. Like, I never woke up in straight-up fear. But, but that day I did. Oh, absolute zero, huh. There was a, a lot, a long chain of effects hit right there. I'm just gonna transfer right into you. And then, does he kill my general? He did. Alright, so... Now this AoE kills everybody. Help Gene. That's fine. But then I do my fire AoE and you die. And luckily, no one here had revival. That's the biggest thing with the um, Cherub Cupid damage boost strategy. Like, if anyone on the enemy team has revival, and they're the exact same team as you, most likely they are. No. If you're playing PvP, you're most likely using either Cherub 
or serpent text with they're basically just, just copy and pasted. Except one is a we heavy and the other one is single heavy. So it was hard because even if you insta kill that sheriff cupid and you run out of your turns, he can revive and then he'll do the same thing. So oof, I want like a level six chest. I'm trying to tons of cells for this guy. For Tubercon. And I've got a legendary gem dungeon video coming out in a little bit if I can get that done. Please don't have Ancient Cloak. I swear okay, he has it. Is that attack your tech bomb? Because if not, there's no worries. Alright, alright. Tons of dots. Alright. Supreme Fun. You only did 61k, so I'm guessing this is not a Attacker Teddy Bomb. Boom, Skill Mirror. I can take a couple hits, you know? Boom, Morgs. Oh, but I didn't re-equip them with any of their rooms. That's why I keep dying so easily. So, look. Now his uh, anticipation should be wasted. So double damage doesn't land on him. And then just poke you real quick. You shouldn't have any relics left because like the game is King Autumn's damage mirror kept poking that guy. And then boom, double kill. <gasps> no, but I don't have my ancient cloak. Uh. That's not gnarly. Boom. Damn boost. And. Oh, you know what? Forget. Oof. Columptuous. Damn. Darn. You die? How did you die? Doesn't matter. Don't do supreme fun. Just don't kill Omnia. Oh my god. I might lose. Frozen? Yeah, okay, I lost. Darn. Alright, I'm out of here. It was getting laggy, so I don't know why. Oh, actually, I do know why. My tablet feels like sun. I was using the portal. Jesus. So I'm just gonna speed this up. Next PP monster is trash, it's Nilo the Revenant, but she has five traits. So save your tokens if you really want Nilo the Revenant right now. Which if you do, I don't think you know who she is. Because she is not the best. Ooh, Garuda. So I'm gonna be dealing with shock. Anticipation plus infinite extra turn. Ooh. I think I know what I have to do here. Okay. Wow. That was a lot of damage, but it wasn't as much as I thought it'd be. Now, funny thing here. Now I'm untouchable by them. Now I do a light AoE and it kills them. Huh. Using Cherub Cupid without his regular, um, because I always run him with, um, the thing. Spear of Destiny. Using him without it, which is basically without hidden shiv damage, is not easy. It's a lot harder, you know? So hey, if anyone ever says he doesn't have any flaws... Say we all have flaws and you're a narcissist. And then run away. Why would you run away? I don't know. You might be at school or something. Please don't run away. Kong mine. Multiplayer chest. Okay, no, stop. Stop with the level ones. I want a level six. Give me something good. Here, this will be the last attack. I kind of just wanted to show off how at the beginning of, my, of this season, my PvP team was at level...
one thirty, and it wasn't even this. It was like one twenty um, Aminia, one thirty. I want to say Uriel the Divine, yes, and then a one thirty um, Cherub Cupid, and now they're all at one forty, and it's not even the same team. Although King Autumn is just a boss, King Autumn can absolutely destroy a Dark Voltaic just for him trying to attack. Now I would show it off, but like, who in the world is that cocky? What if he kills him first? But then again, he does have that Dark Damage protection at the start of the battle, which it's ultra situational. Really, can't say I like it, but I can't say I hate it. It's useful. Boom, AOE and death. Let's see, please, like, at least a level 5 chest. I'm doing an entire video here. Alright, I won. And level 3. Not that bad. Pretty trash, but not that bad. But, yeah. Uh, that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe to join the crab army. And that's pretty much it for this video. Your favorite Omnius crab. Signing out.